Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Fabulous. If you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you're not new here, hey girl, what's up? We're gonna be doing a little DIY today. I know you guys enjoy those videos and I enjoy making them because I love to be crafty or make like some cool little things. And I've been seeing this trend go around where people have been upcycling their vases and turning them to these ceramic, you know, vibey, just fall pieces. And I thought, why not try to do it myself instead of going to the store and buying it? So I went out and got the products that I needed and we're gonna be trying that out today. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm a little worried because if this doesn't work out, I'm literally just gonna go to Home Goods and grab one and call it a day. So if you wanna see how this turns out, just keep on watching. Obviously you're gonna need the vases that you wanna paint or any kind of object. So just go ahead and ask your mom or your parents if you can grab some old vases that they have. Um, I didn't ask anyone, I just took them and hopefully my mom will like them. <laughs> Especially this one, this one's expensive. Next, you're gonna need some baking soda. Um, baking powder is what they said to get, um, but I've seen some people do it with baking soda. It should work out the same. I don't know, we're gonna see. I also tore some cups up to use them for the paint, you know, instead of using like a whole bowl. I also got some brushes from Walmart. Um, it's just a little variety pack of some brushes here. I got these because I feel like it's gonna create some nice texture on the vases, so any kind will do. You're also gonna need some gloves if you don't wanna get messy. And then we also have some paints here. I got these acrylic paints from Walmart and I just got some colors that I wanted to make. So they have tons of colors there. Literally the options are endless. I got nutmeg, I got caramel, and I got toasted marshmallow. And literally these were so cheap and inexpensive. I think these were only like 80 cents and this big bottle was only $2. So this project is super inexpensive to do and I don't think it should take that long either. So let's get started. Oh my god, we're starting this already? Okay, this is literally like, you guys are gonna like do this with me. I'm no expert DIY person. You know, there's tons and tons of videos that explain everything correctly. I'm just, you know, a baddie who's just trying to make cute stuff at home. You know what? My channel is a DIY for dummies. Very that. I should change my top, but it just looks super cute. I'm gonna use toasted marshmallow and a little bit of light mocha. I'm kind of just eyeing it. I oh got these colors are vibe. Yes. Okay, so I've already put some in my cup here. I've never even like used baking soda before. So I know the more baking soda or baking powder you add, the more thicker it's gonna be. You kind of want the mix to be a little bit more on the thick side. So I'm just gonna, is there like no like easier way to like pour this? Like who do this? I'm just gonna pour some in there. Okay, really? Oh. <clears throat> so I'm literally just gonna start mixing this up. Oh my god, this looks like a butterfinger. Okay, we definitely gonna need more paint because I did not put enough. Oh my god, I didn't even put down my clay. I was about to say, I'm about to make a whole mess. So before you start, you're gonna wanna put down a little section to do this on so you're not making a mess everywhere. Okay, so. Is this gonna cover? Cause it's gonna like Yes! Come on, painter. Oh my god, literally this is it? I'm literally just brushing it on. This is easy! So you can also do like different strokes if you want like different kind of like texture in it, which I'm doing here at the top a little bit. Oh my god, this looks so good! Okay, I think this is good, so we're gonna put it off to the side. That's what good wop sounds like. I'm surprised at how much it's covering this color. I thought it was gonna be like a little hard. But for any darker colors, if you just let them dry, you can go over them. If they need a little bit more layering. And make sure you, like this is what I'm talking about, make sure you get in the rim, because Literally, that's like a dead giveaway. That's like having your Faha show underneath your dress. It's like, okay, bitch, you just like ruined the whole illusion. Literally, that's all I can compare it to. <laughs> but if someone looks on the inside, they're gonna be like, bitch, this shit was purple. No, like, don't look inside. No me does that adentro, okay? No te miras adentro, okay? Does that even Spanish? No te miras adentro. Oh, oh, oh this looks vibey as fuck. So next we're gonna do this one and I want it to be like a dark brown color. So I got nutmeg. 
Thank God I did not have my nails on because I would have really not been able to do this little DIY. Okay, you ready? Ooh. Look at that color. Oh, it looks like chocolate milk. Oh, this might be, this might need more layers because it's very kind of sheer. Oh man, the other ones are going so well. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, so the last one is this one here. Yes, I don't know if I want to leave this gold or not. I feel like the gold would be pretty, but... So are you guys ready for fall? Well, I feel like it's already fall, but I think officially it'll be fall like September what? September 20 something? I love the way the first two got covered. Like, why did they cover so perfectly and why are these like being weird? Make sure to get in the hole. Oh, let's go on camera. Yeah, we're gonna do this a little more like on the texture side. I think that'll be cool. I want it to look like really like worn in. And by this, you literally just want to stipple on here. That's why I like this brush because it'll really give that nice effect. You can also do this with like a sponge. Should I get a beauty blender? Okay, I think that's gonna be good. We're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna put it right over here to dry as well. Oh my God, guys, I was so excited. First of all, I thought I was gonna film this like later on in the week after I let these like dry and all of that stuff, but they dried like really quickly. I would say I give them a good two hours and they're like completely dry and they look amazing. This one came out way better than what I expected it was gonna be. So you see like the texture and everything that like was created and like the sphere just looks so pleasing and the color and like literally the texture guys i don't know if it's picking up on camera but it's so pretty this one came out so beautiful and look at the rustic kind of like brown one i think it's still drying a little bit there look how pretty it looks oh my god i oh my god i'm running out of breath i was actually going to wrap it up here but i actually made these things for a new backdrop that i wanted to do and I thought I will show you guys how I put that backdrop together because I did go shopping for some items. So I guess we'll do like a little home goods haul, a little Walmart haul because I got some stuff to decorate the backdrop. So you guys can decorate it with me and uh, yeah, let's see how the final look comes together. So I decided to use the table that I use here for filming and I just didn't want like a plain old white table. So I came across this throw blanket or like, I don't know, but when I saw this at home goods, I was like, oh my God, it's very like, much the vibe i don't know how to explain it but i might be wrong but when i saw it i just thought of like morocco and i was like it's gonna give me very morocco vibes and that's just what i was feeling so this really inspired like the whole kind of like backdrop so i'm gonna show you guys everything i got and then we'll like put everything together so i don't know why i'm opening this <laughs> and when i was at walmart getting the acrylic paint i stopped by the little like floral section and i found these weed bushes and these were like so perfect, I love the size. Oh my God, let's put them in the in the vase for the first time. Are you guys like me and still leave the tags on like plants and like just like hide them when you put them? <gasps> if that is not a vibe, I don't know what is. Look how nice that looks. Come, oh, come through DIY. Oh my God, which one does it look better in? Comment down below, does it look better in? Number one, number two, <gasps> not number, not this one, cause it's, oh, it's still not doing it all the way for me. No, not in this one. No, I don't like it. I think it's between one or two guys, so let me know. And then I also got this little statue at Home Goods. So this was only $17 and it's just a nice gold accent little piece here. And I also have some things here that I've already had at home that I'm gonna, maybe incorporate as well. So I have like this old candle here that's already like done with, but like it's very much the tones, it's very much the vibes. And then we also have this from Laura Mercier. So I got a lot of stuff to play with. Um, I kind of want to add this, but I feel like it's not gonna go. This just looks like a whole Laura Mercier ad right here. <laughs> Shop the translucent powder. I also wanted to add like my little mirror here. Like doesn't this look cute too? Well, this looks silly. Or is that a vibe? You see, that's different. Like, no one's done this before. Like, who would have ever thought? <laughs> oh, 
One of my favorite things about YouTube is that you can play with your background like endlessly depending on what kind of content you film. And for me, changing my backdrops and shopping for backdrops is so much fun. But also I have a lot of fun when I get to like kind of stage a background. It's just fun and it's such a way to just be more creative and change up your videos. And so if you're interested to see how to stage maybe your own backdrop for a video or maybe something to do in your home, Thank you for watching. Okay, so we're gonna start with the little throw, little blanket. I don't even know what to call it. Okay, so we have everything laid out on the table to kind of see um, how everything's looking. Um, I'm also gonna be like right here when I film. So I kind of have to take into account like how things are gonna look. But I'm gonna keep in mind to not put anything kind of like behind me, more of like on my shoulders of the side of the table. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the center. So that actually takes away this whole space to have to worry about. I'm so tired, but this actually got to be a little bit faster than I thought. Um, it wasn't like an all day thing, it was pretty quick. I love the way everything turned out, especially this little one right here. She's a little DIY queen or whatever. I mean, I have done a few on my channel and I'm gonna continue to do more because they're so much fun. So if you want me to do more, hit that like button. That tells me that you guys like this kind of content and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join me here on my journey on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Mr. Fabulous where I'm always posting over there. And any other information will be in the description bar. Thank you guys so much again for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.